Birmingham, listen, locally also, is the second most populous city in the United Kingdom, after London, and the most populous city in the English Midlands. It is also the most populous metropolitan district in the United Kingdom, with an estimated 1,137,123 inhabitants, and is considered the social, cultural, financial, and commercial centre of the Midlands. It is the main local government of the West Midlands Conurbation, which is the third most populated urban area in the United Kingdom, with a population of 2,897,303 in 2017. The wider Birmingham metropolitan area is the second largest in the United Kingdom with a population of over 4.3 million. It is frequently referred to as the United Kingdom's second city. A market town in the medieval period, Birmingham grew in the 18th century Midlands Enlightenment and subsequent Industrial Revolution, which saw advances in science, technology, and economic development, producing a series of innovations that laid many of the foundations of modern industrial society. By 1791 it was being hailed as the first manufacturing town in the world. Birmingham's distinctive economic profile, with thousands of small workshops practicing a wide variety of specialized and highly skilled trades, encouraged exceptional levels of creativity and innovation and provided an economic base for prosperity that was to last into the final quarter of the 20th century. The Watt steam engine was invented in Birmingham, the resulting high level of social mobility also fostered a culture of political radicalism which, under leaders from Thomas Atwood to Joseph Chamberlain, was to give it a political influence unparalleled in Britain outside London, and a pivotal role in the development of British democracy. From the summer of 1940 to the spring of 1943, Birmingham was bombed heavily by the German Luftwaffe in what is known as the Birmingham Blitz. The damage done to the city's infrastructure, in addition to a deliberate policy of demolition and new building by planners, led to extensive urban regeneration in subsequent decades. Birmingham's economy is now dominated by the service sector. The city is a major international commercial centre, ranked as a beta world city by the Globalisation and World Cities Research Network, the joint highest ranking with Edinburgh and Manchester of all British cities outside of London, and an important transport, retail, events and conference hub. Its metropolitan economy is the second largest in the United Kingdom with a GDP of $121.1 billion 2014, and its six universities make it the largest centre of higher education in the country outside London. Birmingham's major cultural institutions, the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, the Birmingham Royal Ballet, the Birmingham Repertory Theatre, the Library of Birmingham and the Barber Institute of Fine Arts, enjoy international reputations, and the city has vibrant and influential grassroots art, music, literary and culinary scenes. Birmingham is the fourth most visited city in the UK by foreign visitors. People from Birmingham are called Brummies, a term derived from the city's nickname of Brum, which originates from the city's old name, Brummagem, which in turn is thought to have derived from Bromwich Ham. The Brummy accent and dialect are particularly distinctive. Topic History <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Prehistory and Medieval. Birmingham's early history is that of a remote and marginal area. The main centers of population, power and wealth in the pre-industrial English Midlands lay in the fertile and accessible river valleys of the Trent, the Severn and the Avon. The area of modern Birmingham lay in between, on the upland Birmingham Plateau and within the densely wooded and sparsely populated Forest of Arden. There is evidence of early human activity in the Birmingham area dating back to around 8000 BC, with Stone Age artifacts suggesting seasonal settlements, overnight hunting parties and woodland activities such as tree felling. The many burned mounds that can still be seen around the city indicate that modern humans first intensively settled and cultivated the area during the Bronze Age, when a substantial but short-lived influx of population occurred between 1700 BC and 1000 BC, possibly caused by conflict or immigration in the surrounding area. During the first century Roman conquest of Britain, the forested country of the Birmingham Plateau formed a barrier to the advancing Roman legions, who built the large Metchley Fort in the area of modern-day Edgbaston in AD 48, and made it the focus of a network of Roman roads. Birmingham as a settlement dates from the Anglo-Saxon era. The city's name comes from the Old English Beormingaeum, meaning the home or settlement of the Beormingers, indicating that Birmingham was established in the 6th or early 7th century as the primary settlement of an Anglian tribal grouping and regio of that name. Despite this early importance, by the time of the Doomsday Book of 1086 the manor of Birmingham was one of the poorest and least populated in Warwickshire, valued at only 20 shillings, with the area of the modern city divided between the counties of Warwickshire, Staffordshire and Worcestershire. The development of Birmingham into a significant urban and commercial centre began in 1166, when the lord of the manor Peter de Birmingham obtained a charter to hold a market at his castle, and followed this with the creation of a planned market town and seigneurial borough within his domain or manorial estate, around the site that became the Bull Ring. This established Birmingham as the primary commercial centre for the Birmingham Plateau at a time when the area's economy was expanding rapidly, with population growth nationally leading to the clearance, cultivation and settlement of previously marginal land. Within a century of the Charter Birmingham had grown into a prosperous urban centre of merchants and craftsmen. By 1327 it was the third largest town in Warwickshire, a position it would retain for the next 200 years. Topic. Early modern The principal governing institutions of medieval Birmingham, including the Guild of the Holy Cross and the Lordship of the de Birmingham family, collapsed between 1536 and 1547, leaving the town with an unusually high degree of social and economic freedom and initiating a period of transition and growth. By 1700 Birmingham's population had increased 15-fold and the town was the fifth largest in England and Wales. The importance of the manufacture of iron goods to Birmingham's economy was recognised as early as 1538, and grew rapidly as the century progressed. Equally significant was the town's emerging role as a centre for the iron merchants who organised finance, supplied raw materials and traded and marketed the industry's products. 
By the 1600s Birmingham formed the commercial hub of a network of forges and furnaces stretching from South Wales to Cheshire and its merchants were selling finished manufactured goods as far afield as the West Indies. These trading links gave Birmingham's metalworkers access to much wider markets, allowing them to diversify away from lower skilled trades producing basic goods for local sale, towards a broader range of specialist, higher skilled and more lucrative activities. By the time of the English Civil War Birmingham's booming economy, its expanding population, and its resulting high levels of social mobility and cultural pluralism, had seen it develop new social structures very different from those of more established areas. Relationships were built around pragmatic commercial linkages rather than the rigid paternalism and deference of feudal society, and loyalties to the traditional hierarchies of the established church and aristocracy were weak. The town's reputation for political radicalism and its strongly parliamentarian sympathies saw it attacked by royalist forces in the Battle of Birmingham in 1643, and it developed into a centre of Puritanism in the 1630s and as a haven for nonconformists from the 1660s. The 18th century saw this tradition of free thinking and collaboration blossom into the cultural phenomenon now known as the Midlands Enlightenment. The town developed into a notable centre of literary, musical, artistic and theatrical activity, and its leading citizens, particularly the members of the Lunar Society of Birmingham, became influential participants in the circulation of philosophical and scientific ideas among Europe's intellectual elite. The close relationship between Enlightenment Birmingham's leading thinkers and its major manufacturers, in men like Matthew Bolton and James Keir they were often in fact the same people, made it particularly important for the exchange of knowledge between pure science and the practical world of manufacturing and technology. This created a chain reaction of innovation forming a pivotal link between the earlier scientific revolution and the industrial revolution that would follow. Industrial revolution Birmingham's explosive industrial expansion started earlier than that of the textile manufacturing towns of the north of England, and was driven by different factors. Instead of the economies of scale of a low-paid, unskilled workforce producing a single bulk commodity such as cotton or wool in large, mechanized units of production, Birmingham's industrial development was built on the adaptability and creativity of a highly paid workforce with a strong division of labor, practicing a broad variety of skilled specialist trades and producing a constantly diversified range of products, in a highly entrepreneurial economy of small, often self-owned workshops. This led to exceptional levels of inventiveness. Between 1760 and 1850, the core years of the Industrial Revolution, Birmingham residents registered over three times as many patents as those of any other British town or city. The demand for capital to feed rapid economic expansion also saw Birmingham grow into a major financial centre with extensive international connections. Lloyd's Bank was founded in the town in 1765, and Ketley's Building Society, the world's first building society, in 1775. By 1800 the West Midlands had more banking offices per head than any other region in Britain, including London. 
Innovation in 18th century Birmingham often took the form of incremental series of small scale improvements to existing products or processes, but also included major developments that lay at the heart of the emergence of industrial society. In 1709 the Birmingham trained Abraham Darby I moved to Colbrickdale in Shropshire and built the first blast furnace to successfully smelt iron ore with coke, transforming the quality, volume and scale on which it was possible to produce cast iron. In 1732 Lewis Paul and John Wyatt invented roller spinning, the one novel idea of the first importance in the development of the mechanized cotton industry. In 1741 they opened the world's first cotton mill in Birmingham's Upper Priory. In 1746 John Roebuck invented the lead chamber process, enabling the large-scale manufacture of sulfuric acid, and in 1780 James Keir developed a process for the bulk manufacture of alkali, together marking the birth of the modern chemical industry. In 1765 Matthew Bolton opened the Soho Manufactory, pioneering the combination and mechanization under one roof of previously separate manufacturing activities through a system known as rational manufacture. As the largest manufacturing unit in Europe, this came to symbolize the emergence of the factory system. Most significant, however, was the development in 1776 of the industrial steam engine by James Watt and Matthew Bolton. Freeing for the first time the manufacturing capacity of human society from the limited availability of hand, water and animal power, this was arguably the pivotal moment of the entire industrial revolution and a key factor in the worldwide increases in productivity that would follow over the following century. Topic. Regency and Victorian Birmingham rose to national political prominence in the campaign for political reform in the early 19th century, with Thomas Atwood and the Birmingham Political Union bringing the country to the brink of civil war during the days of May that preceded the passing of the Great Reform Act in 1832. The Union's meetings on Newhall Hill in 1831 and 1832 were the largest political assemblies Britain had ever seen. Lord Durham, who drafted the Act, wrote that, The country owed reform to Birmingham, and its salvation from revolution. This reputation for having shaken the fabric of privilege to its base. In 1832 led John Bright to make Birmingham the platform for his successful campaign for the Second Reform Act of 1867, which extended voting rights to the urban working class. Birmingham's tradition of innovation continued into the 19th century. Birmingham was the terminus for both of the world's first two long-distance railway lines, the 82-mile Grand Junction Railway of 1837 and the 112-mile London and Birmingham Railway of 1838. Birmingham schoolteacher Roland Hill invented the postage stamp and created the first modern universal postal system in 1839. Alexander Parks invented the first man-made plastic in the jewellery quarter in 1855. By the 1820s, an extensive canal system had been constructed, giving greater access to natural resources and fuel for industries. During the Victorian era, the population of Birmingham grew rapidly to well over half a million and Birmingham became the second largest population centre in England. 
Birmingham was granted city status in 1889 by Queen Victoria. Joseph Chamberlain, mayor of Birmingham and later an MP, and his son Neville Chamberlain, who was Lord Mayor of Birmingham and later the British Prime Minister, are two of the most well-known political figures who have lived in Birmingham. The city established its own university in 1900. Topic. 20th century and contemporary The city suffered heavy bomb damage during World War II's Birmingham Blitz. The city was also the scene of two scientific discoveries that were to prove critical to the outcome of the war. Otto Frisch and Rudolf Peels first described how a practical nuclear weapon could be constructed in the Frisch Peels Memorandum of 1940, the same year that the cavity magnetron, the key component of radar and later of microwave ovens, was invented by John Randall and Henry Boot. Details of these two discoveries, together with an outline of the first jet engine invented by Frank Whittle in nearby by rugby, were taken to the United States by the Tizard mission in September 1940, in a single black box later described by an official American historian as, "...the most valuable cargo ever brought to our shores." The city was extensively redeveloped during the 1950s and 1960s. This included the construction of large tower block estates, such as Castle Vale. The Bull Ring was reconstructed and New Street Station was redeveloped. In the decades following World War II, the ethnic makeup of Birmingham changed significantly, as it received waves of immigration from the Commonwealth of Nations and beyond. The city's population peaked in 1951 at 1,113,000 residents. 21 people were killed and 182 were injured in a series of bomb attacks in 1974, thought to be carried out by the Provisional IRA. The bombings were the worst terror attacks in England up until the 2005 London bombings and consisted of bombs being planted in two pubs in central Birmingham. Six men were convicted, who became known later as the Birmingham Six and sentenced to life imprisonment, who were acquitted after 16 years by the Court of Appeal. The convictions are now considered one of the worst British miscarriages of justice in recent times. The true perpetrators of the attacks are yet to be arrested. The West Midlands Serious Crime Squad, which was responsible for the Birmingham Six investigations, attracted further controversy after other convictions were questioned, and was closed down in 1989. Around 40 prosecutions collapsed due to malpractice in the 1980s, and a further 60 convictions have since been quashed, mostly because of tampering with suspect statements, to add in confessions. Many cases also depended on supergrass evidence which has since been found to be highly unreliable. Some of those wrongfully convicted alleged torture, including use of a suffocation technique known as plastic bagging. West Midlands Police had two serious firearms incidents, in 1980 and 1985. In 1980, David Paget held his pregnant girlfriend as hostage while resisting arrest at flats in Rubery. Officers returned fire, and shot her. Police had initially tried to claim that Paget has shot her, but it became clear that it was police bullets that had caused her death. In 1985, John Shorthouse was arrested at his home in Kings Norton by West Midlands Police for questioning about armed robberies in South Wales. 
His home was then searched. His five-year-old son, John, was shot by police searching under the child's bed. An internal inquiry was held, and as a result, use of firearms was restricted to a specialized and trained unit. Birmingham remained by far Britain's most prosperous provincial city as late as the 1970s, with household incomes exceeding even those of London and the South East, but its economic diversity and capacity for regeneration declined in the decades that followed World War II as central government sought to restrict the city's growth and disperse industry and population to the stagnating areas of Wales and northern England. These measures hindered the natural self-regeneration of businesses in Birmingham, leaving it top-heavy with the old and infirm, and the city became increasingly dependent on the motor industry. The recession of the early 1980s saw Birmingham's economy collapse, with unprecedented levels of unemployment and outbreaks of social unrest in inner city districts. In recent years, many parts of Birmingham have been transformed, with the redevelopment of the Bullring Shopping Centre and regeneration of old industrial areas such as Brindley Place, the Mailbox, and the International Convention Centre. Old streets, buildings, and canals have been restored, the pedestrian subways have been removed, and the inner ring road has been rationalized. In 1998, Birmingham hosted the 24th G8 Summit. The city will serve as host of the 2022 Commonwealth Games. Topic: Government. Birmingham City Council is the largest local authority in Europe in terms of the population. It covers with 101 councillors representing 77 wards as of 2018. Its headquarters are at the Council House in Victoria Square. As of 2018, the council has a Labour Party majority and is led by Ian Ward. Labour replaced the previous no overall control status at the May 2012 elections. The honour and dignity of a Lord Mayoralty was conferred on Birmingham by letters patent on 3 June 1896. Birmingham's ten parliamentary constituencies are represented in the House of Commons as of 2017 by one Conservative and nine Labour MPs. In the European Parliament the city forms part of the West Midlands European Parliament constituency, which elects six members of the European Parliament, originally part of Warwickshire. Birmingham expanded in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, absorbing parts of Worcestershire to the south and Staffordshire to the north and west. The city absorbed Sutton Coldfield in 1974 and became a metropolitan borough in the new West Midlands County. A top-level government body, the West Midlands Combined Authority, was formed in April 2016. The WMCA holds devolved powers in transport, development planning, and economic growth. The authority is governed by a directly elected mayor, similar to the Mayor of London. Topic. Geography Birmingham is located in the centre of the West Midlands region of England on the Birmingham Plateau, an area of relatively high ground, ranging between 500 and 1,000 feet 150 and 300 meters above sea level and crossed by Britain's main north-south watershed between the basins of the rivers Severn and Trent. 
To the southwest of the city lie the Licky Hills, Clent Hills and Walton Hill, which reach 1,033 feet meters and have extensive views over the city. Birmingham is drained only by minor rivers and brooks, primarily the River Tame and its tributaries the Coal and the Raya. The city of Birmingham forms a conurbation with the largely residential borough of Solihull to the southeast, and with the city of Wolverhampton and the industrial towns of the Black Country to the northwest, which form the West Midlands built up area covering 59,972 hectares, 600 square kilometres, 232 square miles. Surrounding this is Birmingham's metropolitan area, the area to which it is closely economically tied through commuting, which includes the former Mercian capital of Tamworth and the cathedral city of Lichfield in Staffordshire to the north, the industrial city of Coventry and the Warwickshire towns of Nuneaton, Warwick and Leamington Spa to the east, and the Worcestershire towns of Redditch and Bromsgrove to the southwest. Much of the area now occupied by the city was originally a northern reach of the ancient forest of Arden, whose former presence can still be felt in the city's dense oak tree cover and in the large number of districts such as Moseley, Saltley, Yardley, Sturchley, and Hockley with names ending in lay, the Old English lea meaning woodland clearing. Topic. Geology Geologically, Birmingham is dominated by the Birmingham Fault, which runs diagonally through the city from the Licky Hills in the southwest, passing through Edgebaston and the Bull Ring, to Erdington and Sutton Coldfield in the northeast. To the south and east of the fault the ground is largely softer Mercia mudstone, interspersed with beds of bunter pebbles and crossed by the valleys of the rivers Tame, Rhea and Cole and their tributaries. To the north and west of the fault, between 150 and 600 feet 46 and 183 meters higher than the surrounding area and underlying much of the city center, lies a long ridge of harder Kuiper sandstone. The bedrock underlying Birmingham was mostly laid down during the Permian and Triassic periods. Topic. Climate Birmingham has a temperate maritime climate, like much of the British Isles, with average maximum temperatures in summer July, being around 21.3 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit, and in winter January, around 6.7 degrees Celsius .1 degrees Fahrenheit. Between 1971 and 2000 the warmest day of the year on average was 28.8 degrees Celsius 83.8 .8 degrees Fahrenheit and the coldest night typically fell to minus 9.0 degrees Celsius 15.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Some 11.2 days each year rose to a temperature of 25.1 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit, or above and 51.6 nights reported an air frost. The highest recorded temperature, set during August 1990, was 34.9 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit. .Like most other large cities, Birmingham has a considerable urban heat island effect. 
During the coldest night recorded, the 14th of January 1982, the temperature fell to minus 20.8 degrees Celsius, minus 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit, at Birmingham Airport on the city's eastern edge, but just minus 12.9 degrees Celsius, 8.8 .8 degrees Fahrenheit, at Edgebaston, near the city centre. Birmingham is a snowy city city relative to other large UK conurbations, due to its inland location and comparatively high elevation. Between 1961 and 1990 Birmingham Airport averaged 13.0 days of snow lying annually, compared to 5.33 at London Heathrow. Snow showers often pass through the city via the Cheshire Gap on northwesterly airstreams, but can also come off the North Sea from northeasterly airstreams. Extreme weather is rare, but the city has been known to experience tornadoes. On 23 November 1981, during a record-breaking nationwide tornado outbreak, two tornadoes touched down within the Birmingham city limits, in Erdington and Selly Oak, with six tornadoes touching down within the boundaries of the wider West Midlands County. More recently, a destructive tornado occurred in July 2005 in the south of the city, damaging homes and businesses in the area. Topic: Environment. There are 571 parks within Birmingham, more than any other European city, totaling over 3,500 hectares 14 square miles of public open space. The city has over 6 million trees, and 250 miles 400 kilometers of urban brooks and streams. Sutton Park, which covers 2,400 acres 971 hectares in the north of the city, is the largest urban park in Europe and a national nature reserve. Birmingham Botanical Gardens, located close to the city centre, retains the Regency landscape of its original design by J. C. Loudon in 1829, while the Winterbourne Botanic Garden in Edgebaston reflects the more informal arts and crafts tastes of its Edwardian origins. Several green spaces within the borough are designated as Green Belt, as a portion of the wider West Midlands. Midlands Green Belt. This is a strategic local government policy used to prevent urban sprawl and preserve greenfield land. Areas included are the aforementioned Sutton Park, land along the borough boundary by the Sutton Coldfield, Walmley and Minworth suburbs, Kingfisher, Sheldon, Woodgate Valley Country Parks, grounds by the Wake Green Football Club, Bartley and Frankley Reservoirs, and Handsworth Cemetery with surrounding golf courses. Birmingham has many areas of wildlife that lie in both informal settings settings such as the Project Kingfisher and Woodgate Valley Country Park and in a selection of parks such as Licky Hills Country Park, Handsworth Park, Kings Heath Park, and Cannon Hill Park, the latter also housing the Mini Zoo, Birmingham Wildlife Conservation Park. Topic. Demography. The 2012 mid-year estimate for the population of Birmingham was 1,085,400. This was an increase of 11,200, or 1.0%, 1 since the same time in 2011. Since 2001, the population has grown by 99,500, or 10.1%. 
Birmingham is the largest local authority area and city in the UK outside of London. The population density is 10,391 inhabitants per square mile, 4,102 per square kilometers, compared to the 976.9 inhabitants per square mile, 377.2 per square kilometers for England. Based on the 2011 UK census, Birmingham's population is projected to reach 1,160,100 by 2021, an increase of 8.0%. This compares with an estimated rate of 9.1% for the previous decade. The West Midlands conurbation had a population of 2,441. 2011 est, and 2,762,700 people live in the West Midlands County 2012 est. According to figures from the 2011 UK Census, 57.9% of the population was white 53.1% white British, 2.1% white Irish, 2.7% other white, 4.4% of mixed race 2.3% white and black Caribbean, 0.3% white and black African, 1.0% white and Asian, 0.8% other mixed, 26.6% Asian, 13.5% Pakistani, 6.0% Indian, 3.0% Bangladeshi, 1.2% Chinese, 2.9% other Asian, 8.9% Black, 2.8% African, 4.4% Caribbean, 1.7% other Black, 1.0% Arab and 1. 0.0% of other ethnic heritage. 57% of primary and 52% of secondary pupils are from non-white British families, 238,313 Birmingham residents were born overseas, of these, 44% have been resident in the UK for less than 10 years. Countries new to the 20 most reported countries of birth for Birmingham residents since 2001 include, Iran, Zimbabwe, the Philippines and Nigeria. Established migrants outnumbered newer migrants in all wards except for, Edgebaston, Ladywood, Neachels and Selly Oak. In Birmingham, 60.4% of the population was aged between 16 to 74, compared to 66.7% in England as a whole. There are generally more females than males in each single year of age, except for the youngest ages 0 to 18 and late 30s and late 50s. Females represented 51.6% of the population whilst men represented 48.4%. The differences are most marked in the oldest age group reflecting greater female longevity, where more women were 70 or over. The bulge around the early 20s is due largely to students coming to the city's universities. Children around age 10 are a relatively small group, reflecting the decline in birth rates around the turn of the century. There is a large group of children under the age of 5 reflecting high numbers of births in recent years. Births are up 20% since 2001, increasing from 14,427 to 17,423 in 2011. 
In 2011, of all households in Birmingham, 0.12% were same-sex civil partnership households, compared to the English national average of 0.16%.25.9% of all households owned their accommodation outright, another 29.3% owned their accommodation with a mortgage or loan. These figures were below the national average. 0.45.5% of people said they were in very good health, which was below the national average. Another 33.9% said they were in good health, which was also below the national average. 9.1% of people said their day-to-day -day activities were limited a lot by their health which was higher than the national average. The Birmingham Larger Urban Zone, a Eurostat measure of the functional city region approximated to local government districts, has a population of 2,357,100 in 2004. In addition to Birmingham itself, the LUS includes the metropolitan boroughs of Dudley, Sandwell, Solihull and Walsall, along with the districts of Lichfield, Tamworth, North Warwickshire and Bromsgrove. <laughs> Religion Christianity is the largest religion within Birmingham, with 46.1% of residents identifying as Christians in the 2011 census. The city's religious profile is highly diverse, however, outside London, Birmingham has the United Kingdom's largest Muslim, Sikh and Buddhist communities, its second largest Hindu community, and its seventh largest Jewish community. Between the 2001 and 2011 censuses, the proportion of Christians in Birmingham decreased from 59.1% to 46.1%, while the proportion of Muslims increased from 14.3% to 21.8% and the proportion of people with no religious affiliation increased from 12.4% to 19.3%. All other religions remained proportionately similar. St. Philip's Cathedral was upgraded from church status when the Anglican Diocese of Birmingham was created in 1905. There are two other cathedrals, St. Chad's, seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Birmingham and the Greek Orthodox Cathedral of the Dormition of the Mother of God and St. Andrew. The Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Midlands is also based at Birmingham, with a cathedral under construction. The original parish church of Birmingham, St. Martin in the Bull Ring, is Grade II asterisk listed. A short distance from five ways the Birmingham Oratory was completed in 1910 on the site of Cardinal Newman's original foundation. There are several Christadelphian meeting halls in the city and the Christadelphian magazine and publishing group has its headquarters in Hall Green. The oldest surviving synagogue in Birmingham is the 1825 Greek Revival 7 Street Synagogue, now a Freemason's Lodge Hall. It was replaced in 1856 by the Grade II asterisk listed Singers Hill Synagogue. Birmingham Central Mosque, one of the largest in Europe, was constructed in the 1960s. During the late 1990s Gamkol Sharif Masjid was built in Small Heath. The Guru Nanak Nishkam Siwak Jatha Sikh Gurdwara was built on Soho Road in Handsworth in the late 1970s and the Buddhist Damatalaka Peace Pagoda near Edge Baston Reservoir in the 1990s. Winners Chapel also maintains physical presence in Digbeth. Topic. 
Economy Birmingham grew to prominence as a manufacturing and engineering centre. The Gun Quarter is a district of the city, which was for many years a centre of the world's gun manufacturing industry. The first recorded gun maker in Birmingham was in 1630, and locally made muskets were used in the English Civil War. It is an industrial area to the north of the city centre, bounded by Steelhouse Lane, Shadwell Street and Loveday Street specialising in the production of military firearms and sporting guns. Following the big city plan of 2008, the Gun Quarter is now a district within Birmingham city centre. Many buildings in the area are disused but plans are in place for redevelopment including in Shadwell Street and Vesey Street. Today the economy of Birmingham is dominated by the service sector, which in 2012 accounted for 88% of the city's employment. Birmingham is the largest centre in Great Britain for employment in public administration, education and health, and after Leeds the second largest centre outside London for employment in financial and other business services. It is ranked as a beta world city by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network, the third highest ranking in the country after London and Manchester, and its wider metropolitan economy is the second largest in the United Kingdom with a GDP of $121.1 billion PPP. Major companies headquartered in Birmingham include the engineering company IMI plc, and including the wider metropolitan area the city has the largest concentration of major companies outside London and the South East. With major facilities such as the National Exhibition Centre and International Convention Centre Birmingham attracts 42% of the UK's total conference and exhibition trade. Manufacturing accounted for 8% of employment within Birmingham in 2012, a figure beneath the average for the UK as a whole. Major industrial plants within the city include Jaguar Land Rover in Castle Bromwich and Cadbury in Bourneville, with large local producers also supporting a supply chain of precision-based small manufacturers and craft industries. More traditional industries also remain, 40% of the jewellery made in the UK is still produced by the 300 independent manufacturers of the city's jewellery quarter, continuing a trade first recorded in Birmingham in 1308. Birmingham's GVA was £24.8 billion 2015 est. .Economic growth accelerated each successive year between 2013 and 2015, and with an annual growth of 4.2% in 2015, GVA per head grew at the second fastest rate of England's eight core cities. The value of manufacturing output in the city declined by 21% in real terms between 1997 and 2010, but the value of financial and insurance activities more than doubled. With 16,281 startups registered during 2013, Birmingham has the highest level of entrepreneurial activity outside London, while the number of registered businesses in the city grew by 8.1% during 2016. Birmingham was behind only London and Edinburgh for private sector job creation between 2010 and 2013. Economic inequality within Birmingham is greater than in any other major English city, and is exceeded only by Glasgow in the United Kingdom. 
Levels of unemployment are among the highest in the country, with 10.0% of the economically active population unemployed June 2016. In the inner city wards of Aston and Washwood Heath, the figure is higher than 30%. Two-fifths of Birmingham's population live in areas classified as in the 10% most deprived parts of England, and overall Birmingham is the most deprived local authority in England in terms of income and employment deprivation. The city's infant mortality rate is high, around 60% worse than the national average. Meanwhile, just 49% of women have jobs, compared to 65% nationally, and only 28% of the working age population in Birmingham have degree-level qualifications in contrast to the average of 34% across other core cities, according to the 2014 Mercer Quality of Living Survey. Birmingham was placed 51st in the world in which was the second highest rating in the UK. This is an improvement on the city's 56th place in 2008. The Big City Plan aims to move the city into the index's top 20 by 2026. An area of the city has been designated an enterprise zone, with tax relief and simplified planning to lure investment. According to 2019 property investment research, Birmingham is rated as the number one location for the best places to invest in property in the UK. This was attributed to a 5% increase in house prices and local investment into infrastructure. Topic: Culture. Topic: Music. The City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra's home venue is Symphony Hall. Other notable professional orchestras based in the city include the Birmingham Contemporary Music Group, the Royal Ballet Sinfonia and Ex Cathedra, a Baroque chamber choir and period instrument orchestra. The Orchestra of the Swan is the resident chamber orchestra at Birmingham Town Hall, where weekly recitals have also been given by the city organist since 1834. The Birmingham Triennial Music Festivals took place from 1784 to 1912. Music was specially composed, conducted or performed by Mendelssohn, Gounod, Sullivan, Dvorak, Bantock and Edward Elgar, who wrote four of his most famous choral pieces for Birmingham. Elgar's The Dream of Gerontius had its debut performance there in 1900. Composers born in the city include Albert William Kettleby and Andrew Glover. Jazz has been popular in the city since the 1920s, and there are many regular festivals such as the Harmonic Festival, the Mostly Jazz Festival and the annual International Jazz Festival. Birmingham's other city centre music venues include Arena Birmingham, previously known as the National Indoor Arena and the Barclaycard Arena, which was opened in 1991, O2 Academy on Bristol Street, which opened in September 2009 replacing the O2 Academy in Dale End, the CBSO Centre, opened in 1997, HMV Institute in Digby and the Adrian Bolt Hall at the Birmingham Conservatoire. During the 1960s, Birmingham was the home of a music scene comparable to that of Liverpool. It was a seething cauldron of musical activity. 
and the international success of groups such as the Move, the Spencer Davis Group, the Moody Blues, Traffic and the Electric Light Orchestra had a collective influence that stretched into the 1970s and beyond. The city was the birthplace of heavy metal music, with pioneering metal bands from the late 1960s and 1970s such as Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, and Half of Led Zeppelin having come from Birmingham. The next decade saw the influential metal bands Napalm Death and Godflesh emerge from the city. Birmingham was the birthplace of modern Bangra in the 1960s, and by the 1980s had established itself as the global centre of Bangra culture, which has grown into a global phenomenon embraced by members of the Indian diaspora worldwide from Los Angeles to Singapore. The 1970s also saw the rise of reggae and ska in the city with such bands as Steel Pulse, UB40, Musical Youth, The Beat and Bashara, expounding racial unity with politically leftist lyrics and multiracial line-ups, mirroring social currents in Birmingham at that time. Other popular bands from Birmingham include Duran Duran, Fine Young Cannibals, Felt, Broadcast, Ocean Color Scene, The Streets, The Twang, King Adora and Dexy's Midnight Runners. Musicians Jeff Lynn, Ozzy Osbourne, Tony Iommi, Bill Ward, Geezer Butler, John Lodge, Roy Wood, Joan Armatrading, Toya Wilcox, Denny Lane, Sukshinda Shinda, Apache Indian, Steve Winwood, Jamelia, Ocean's 8 Alaska, Fife Dangerfield and Laura Mvula all grew up in the city. Since 2012 the Digbeth-based B-Town indie music scene has attracted widespread attention, led by bands such as Peace and Swim Deep, with the NME comparing Digbeth to London's Shoreditch, and the independent writing in 2012 that Birmingham is fast becoming the best place in the UK to look to for the most exciting new music. Theatre and performing arts Birmingham Repertory Theatre is Britain's longest established producing theatre, presenting a wide variety of work in its three auditoria on Centenary Square and touring nationally and internationally. Other producing theatres in the city include the Blue Orange Theatre in the Jewellery Quarter, the Old Rep, home stage of the Birmingham Stage Company, and at A. E. Harris, the base of the Experimental Stands Café Theatre Company, located within a working metal fabricator's factory. Touring theatre companies include the politically radical Banner Theatre, the Maverick Theatre Company and Kindle Theatre. The Alexandra Theatre and the Birmingham Hippodrome host large-scale touring productions, while professional drama is performed on a wide range of stages across the city, including the Crescent Theatre, the Custard Factory, the Old Joint Stock Theatre, the Drum in Aston and the Mac in Cannon Hill Park. The Birmingham Royal Ballet is one of the United Kingdom's five major ballet companies and one of three based outside London. It is resident at the Birmingham Hippodrome and tours extensively nationally and internationally. The company's associated ballet school, Elmhurst School for Dance in Edgebaston, is the oldest vocational dance school in the country. The Birmingham Opera Company, under artistic director Graham Vick, has developed an international reputation for its avant garde productions, which often take place in factories, abandoned buildings, and other found spaces around the city. 
More conventional seasons by Welsh National Opera and other visiting opera companies take place regularly at the Birmingham Hippodrome, the first dedicated comedy club outside of London. The Glee Club was opened in the Arcadian Centre, City Centre, in 1994, and continues to host performances by leading regional, national, and international acts. Topic. Literature Literary figures associated with Birmingham include Samuel Johnson who stayed in Birmingham for a short period and was born in nearby Lichfield. Arthur Conan Doyle worked in the Aston area of Birmingham whilst poet Louis McNeese lived in Birmingham for six years. It was whilst staying in Birmingham that American author Washington Irving produced several of his most famous literary works, such as Bracebridge Hall and The Humorists, a medley which are based on Aston Hall, as well as The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle. The poet W. H. Auden grew up in the Harborne area of the city and during the 1930s formed the core of the Auden Group with Birmingham University lecturer Louis McNeese. Other influential poets associated with Birmingham include Wa Quibena, who was the city's sixth poet laureate, and Benjamin Zephaniah, who was born in the city. The author J. R. R. Tolkien was brought up in the King's Heath area of Birmingham. The award-winning political playwright David Edgar was born in Birmingham, and the science fiction author John Wyndham spent his early childhood in the Edgbaston area of the city. Birmingham has a vibrant contemporary literary scene, with local authors including David Lodge, Jim Crace, Jonathan Coe, Joel Lane and Judith Cutler. The city's leading contemporary literary publisher is the Tyndall Street Press, whose authors include prize-winning novelists Catherine O'Flynn, Claire Morrill and Austin Clarke. Topic art and design The Birmingham School of Landscape Artists emerged with Daniel Bond in the 1760s and was to last into the mid-19th century. Its most important figure was David Cox, whose later works make him an important precursor of Impressionism. The influence of the Royal Birmingham Society of Artists and the Birmingham School of Art made Birmingham an important centre of Victorian art, particularly within the pre-Raphaelite and arts and crafts movements. Major figures included the pre-Raphaelite and symbolist Edward Byrne Jones, Walter Langley, the first of the Newland School painters, and Joseph Southall, leader of the group of artists and craftsmen known as the Birmingham Group. The Birmingham Surrealists were among the «harbingers of surrealism» in Britain in the 1930s and the movement's most active members in the 1940s, while more abstract artists associated with the city included Lee Bank-born David Bomberg and Cobra member William Gear. Birmingham artists were prominent in several post-war developments in art. Peter Phillips was among the central figures in the birth of pop art. John Salt was the only major European figure among the pioneers of photorealism, and the block art group used painting, collage and multimedia to examine the politics and culture of black British identity. Contemporary artists from the city include the Turner Prize winner Gillian Waring and the Turner Prize shortlisted artists Richard Billingham, John Walker Roger Heorns and conceptual artist Pogus Caesar His work has been acquired by the V&A National Portrait Gallery Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. Birmingham's role as a manufacturing and printing centre has supported strong local traditions of graphic design and product design. 
Iconic works by Birmingham designers include the Baskerville font, Ruskin pottery, the Acme Thunderer whistle, the Art Deco branding of the Odeon cinemas and the Mini. Topic museums and galleries Birmingham has two major public art collections. Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery is best known for its works by the Pre-Raphaelites, a collection of outstanding importance. It also holds a significant selection of old masters, including major works by Bellini, Rubens, Canaletto and Claude, and particularly strong collections of 17th-century Italian Baroque painting and English watercolours. Its design holdings include Europe's preeminent collections of ceramics and fine metalwork. The Barber Institute of Fine Arts in Edgbaston is one of the finest small art galleries in the world, with a collection of exceptional quality representing Western art from the 13th century to the present day. Birmingham Museums Trust runs other museums in the city, including Aston Hall, Blakesley Hall, the Museum of the Jewelry Quarter, Soho House, and Sarehole Mill. The Birmingham back-to-backs are the last surviving court of back-to-back -back houses in the city. Cadbury World is a museum showing visitors the stages and steps of chocolate production and the history of chocolate and the company. The Icon Gallery hosts displays of contemporary art, as does East Side Projects. Think Tank is Birmingham's main science museum, with a giant screen cinema, a planetarium and a collection that includes the Smethwick engine, the world's oldest working steam engine. Other science-based museums include the National Sea Life Center in Brindley Place, the Lapworth Museum of Geology at the University of Birmingham and the Center of the Earth Environmental Education Center in Winson Green. <laughs> Nightlife and festivals Nightlife in Birmingham is mainly concentrated along Broad Street and into Brindley Place. Although in more recent years Broad Street has lost its popularity due to the closing of several clubs, the Arcadian now has more popularity in terms of nightlife. Outside the Broad Street area are many stylish and underground venues. The Medicine Bar in the Custard Factory, HMV Institute, Rainbow Pub and Air are large clubs and bars in Digbeth. Around the Chinese Quarter are areas such as the Arcadian and Hurst Street Gay Village, that abound with bars and clubs. Summer Row, The Mailbox, O2 Academy in Bristol Street, Snobs Nightclub, St. Philip's, Colmore Row, St. Paul's Square and the Jewelry Quarter all have a vibrant night life. There are a number of late-night pubs in the Irish Quarter. Outside the city centre is Star City Entertainment Complex on the former site of Neitchell's Power Station. Birmingham is home to many national, religious and spiritual festivals including a St. George's Day party. The Birmingham Tattoo is a long-standing military show held annually at the National Indoor Arena. The Caribbean-style Birmingham International Carnival takes place in odd-numbered years. The UK's largest two-day gay pride is Birmingham Pride LGBT Festival, which is typically held over the Spring Bank holiday weekend in May. The streets of Birmingham's gay district pulsate with a carnival parade, live music, a dance arena with DJs, cabaret stage, women's arena and a community village. Birmingham Pride takes place in the Gay Village. 
From 1997 until December 2006, the city hosted an annual arts festival ArtsFest, the largest free arts festival in the UK at the time. The city's largest single-day event is its St. Patrick's Day Parade Europe's second largest, after Dublin. Other multicultural events include the Bangla Mela and the Vaisakhi Mela. The Birmingham Heritage Festival is a Mardi Gras-style event in August. Caribbean and African culture are celebrated with parades and street performances by buskers. Other festivals in the city include the Birmingham International Jazz Festival. Party in the Park was originally a festival hosted by local and regional radio stations which died down in 2007 and has now been brought back to life as an unsigned festival for regional unsigned acts to showcase themselves in a one-day music festival for the whole family. Birmingham Comedy Festival since 2001, 10 days in October, which has been headlined by such acts as Peter Kay, The Fast Show, Jimmy Carr, Lee Evans and Lenny Henry. The Biennial International Dance Festival Birmingham started in 2008, organized by Dance Exchange and involving indoor and outdoor venues across the city. Since 2001, Birmingham has also been host to the Frankfurt Christmas Market. Modelled on its German counterpart, it has grown to become the UK's largest outdoor Christmas market and is the largest German market outside of Germany and Austria, attracting over 3.1 million visitors in 2010 and over 5 million visitors in 2011. Topic food and drink Birmingham's development as a commercial town was originally based around its market for agricultural produce, established by Royal Charter in 1166. Despite the industrialization of subsequent centuries this role has been retained and the Birmingham wholesale markets remain the largest combined wholesale food markets in the country, selling meat, fish, fruit, vegetables and flowers and supplying fresh produce to restaurateurs and independent retailers from as far as 100 miles 161 kilometers away. Birmingham is one of only two English cities outside London to have four Michelin starred restaurants Simpsons in Edgbaston, Carters of Moseley in Purnells, and Adams in the city centre. Birmingham based breweries included Ansel's, Davenport's, and Mitchell's and Butler's. Aston Manor Brewery is currently the only brewery of any significant size. Many fine Victorian pubs and bars can still be found across the city, whilst there is also a plethora of more modern nightclubs and bars, notably along Broad Street. The Wing Yip Food Empire first began in the city and now has its headquarters in Meachels. The bowl tea, a type of curry, was invented in the city, which has received much acclaim for the Balti Belt or Balti Triangle. Famous food brands that originated in Birmingham include Thai Fu Tea, Bird's Custard, Cadbury's Chocolate and HP Sauce. There is also a thriving independent and artisan food sector in Birmingham, encompassing microbreweries like Two Towers, and collective bakeries such as Loaf. Recent years have seen these businesses increasingly showcased at farmers' markets, popular street food events and food festivals including Birmingham Independent Food Fair. Topic. Entertainment and leisure 
Birmingham is home to many entertainment and leisure venues, including Europe's largest leisure and entertainment complex Star City as well as Europe's first out-of-city centre entertainment and leisure complex Resorts World Birmingham owned by the Genting Group. The mailbox which caters for more affluent clients is based within the city. Topic Dialect The local dialect is called Brummy. Topic Architecture Birmingham is chiefly a product of the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries, its growth began during the Industrial Revolution. Consequently, relatively few buildings survive from its earlier history and those that do are protected. There are 1,946 listed buildings in Birmingham and 13 scheduled ancient monuments. Birmingham City Council also operate a locally listing scheme for buildings that do not fully meet the criteria for statutorily listed status. Traces of medieval Birmingham can be seen in the oldest churches, notably the original parish church, St. Martin in the Bull Ring. A few other buildings from the medieval and Tudor periods survive, among them the Lad in the Lane and the Old Crown, the 15th century Saracen's Head Public House and Old Grammar School in Kings Norton and Blakesley Hall. A number of Georgian buildings survive, including St. Philip's Cathedral, Soho House, Perrot's Folly, the Town Hall and much of St. Paul's Square. The Victorian era saw extensive building across the city. Major civic buildings such as the Victoria Law Courts in characteristic red brick and terracotta, the Council House and the Museum and Art Gallery were constructed. St. Chad's Cathedral was the first Roman Catholic cathedral to be built in the UK since the Reformation. Across the city, the need to house the industrial workers gave rise to miles of red brick streets and terraces, many of back-to-back -back houses, some of which were later to become inner city slums. Post-war redevelopment and anti-Victorianism resulted in the loss of dozens of Victorian buildings like New Street Station and the Old Central Library, often replaced by brutalist architecture. Sir Herbert Manzoni, city engineer and surveyor of Birmingham from 1935 until 1963, believed conservation of old buildings was sentimental and that the city did not have any of worth anyway. In inner city areas too, much Victorian housing was demolished and redeveloped. Existing communities were relocated to tower block estates like Castle Vale. In a partial reaction against the Manzoni years, Birmingham City Council is demolishing some of the brutalist buildings like the Central Library and has an extensive tower block demolition and renovation program. There has been much redevelopment in the city centre in recent years, including the award-winning Future Systems Selfridges building in the Bullring Shopping Centre, the Brindley Place Regeneration Project, the Millennium Point Science and Technology Centre, and the refurbishment of the iconic Rotunda building. Funding for many of these projects has come from the European Union. The Town Hall, for example, received £3 million in funding from the European Regional Development Fund. High rise development has slowed since the 1970s and mainly in recent years because of enforcements imposed by the Civil Aviation Authority on the heights of buildings as they could affect aircraft from the airport. Beetham Tower. Topic Transport. 
Partly due to its central location, Birmingham is a major transport hub on the motorway, rail and canal networks. The city is served by the M5, M6, M40, and M42 motorways, and possibly the most well-known motorway junction in the United Kingdom, Spaghetti Junction, a colloquial name for the Gravelly Hill Interchange. The M6 passes through the city on the Bromford Viaduct, which at 3.5 miles is the longest bridge in the UK. Birmingham is planning a clean air zone from January 2020, which will charge polluting vehicles to travel into the city centre. Birmingham Airport, located 6 miles (9.7 kilometres) east of the city centre in the neighbouring borough of Solihull, is the seventh busiest airport by passenger traffic in the UK and the third busiest outside the London area after Manchester and Edinburgh. It is the largest base for Flybe, Europe's largest regional airline, and a major base for Ryanair and TUI Airways. Airline services operate from Birmingham to many destinations in Europe, the Americas, Africa, the Middle East and Asia. Birmingham New Street is the busiest railway station in the UK outside London, both for passenger entries, exits and for passenger interchanges. It is the national hub for cross-country, the most extensive long-distance train network in Britain, and a major destination for Virgin train services from London Euston, Glasgow Central and Edinburgh Waverley. Birmingham Moor Street and Birmingham Snow Hill form the northern termini for Chiltern Railways express trains running from London Marylebone. Local and regional services are operated from all of Birmingham's stations by West Midlands trains. Curzon Street Railway Station is planned to be the northern terminus for Phase 1 of the high speed 2 rail link from London. Due to open in 2026, the National Express headquarters are located in Digbeth, in offices above Birmingham Coach Station, which forms the national hub of the company's coach. Coach network. Birmingham's local public transport network is coordinated by Transport for West Midlands. The network includes, the busiest urban rail system in the UK outside London, with 122 million passenger entries and exits per annum, the UK's busiest urban bus system outside London, with 300.2 million passenger journeys per annum, and the West Midlands Metro, a light rail system that operates between Grand Central and Wolverhampton via Bilston, Wensbury and West Bromwich. Bus routes are mainly operated by National Express West Midlands, which accounts for over 80% of all bus journeys in Birmingham, though there are around 50 other, smaller registered bus companies. The No. 11 Outer Circle bus route, which operates in both clockwise and anti-clockwise directions around the outskirts of the city, is the longest urban bus route in Europe, being over 26 miles 42 km long with 272 bus stops. An extensive canal system still remains in Birmingham from the Industrial Revolution. The city has more miles of canal than Venice, though the canals in Birmingham are a less prominent and essential feature due to the larger size of the city and the fact that few of its buildings are accessed by canal. The canals are mainly used today for leisure purposes, and canalside regeneration schemes such as Brindley Place have turned the canals into a tourist attraction. Topic: Education. 
Topic further and higher education Birmingham is home to five universities, Aston University, University of Birmingham, Birmingham City University, University College Birmingham and Newman University. The city also hosts major campuses of the University of Law and BPP University, as well as the Open University's West Midlands Regional Base. In 2011 Birmingham had 78,259 full-time students aged 18 to 74 resident in the city during term time, more than any other city in the United Kingdom outside London. Birmingham has 32,690 research students, also the highest number of any major city outside London. The Birmingham Business School, established by Sir William Ashley in 1902, is the oldest graduate-level business school in the United Kingdom. Another top business school in the city includes Aston Business School, one of fewer than 1% of business schools globally to be granted triple accreditation, and Birmingham City Business School. The Royal Birmingham Conservatoire, Birmingham School of Acting and Birmingham Institute of Art and Design, all now part of Birmingham City University, offer higher education in specific arts subjects. Birmingham is an important centre for religious education. St. Mary's College, Oscott is one of the three seminaries of the Catholic Church in England and Wales, Woodbrick is the only Quaker study centre in Europe, and Queen's College, Edgbaston is an ecumenical theological college serving the Church of England, the Methodist Church and the United Reformed Church. Birmingham Metropolitan College is one of the largest further education colleges in the country, with 14 campuses spread across Birmingham and into the Black Country and Worcestershire. South and City College Birmingham has nine campuses spread throughout the city. Bourneville College is based in a £66 million, 4.2-acre campus in Longbridge that opened in 2011. Fircroft College is a residential college based in a former Edwardian mansion in Selly Oak, founded in 1909 around a strong commitment to social justice, with many courses aimed at students with few prior formal qualifications. Queen Alexandra College is a specialist college based in Harborne offering further education to visually impaired or disabled students from all over the United Kingdom. <laughs> Primary and secondary education Birmingham City Council is England's largest local education authority, directly or indirectly responsible for 25 nursery schools, 328 primary schools, 77 secondary schools and 29 special schools, and providing around 3,500 adult education courses throughout the year. Most of Birmingham's state schools are community schools run directly by Birmingham City Council in its role as local education authority, Lee, although there are also voluntary aided schools within the state system. Since the 1970s, most secondary schools in Birmingham have been 11, 16 18th comprehensive schools, while post-GCSE students have the choice of continuing their education in either a school's sixth form or at a further education college. Birmingham has always operated a primary school system of 4 to 7 infant and 7 11 junior schools. 
King Edward's School, Birmingham, founded in 1552 by King Edward VI, is one of the oldest schools in the city, teaching GCSE and IB, with alumni including J.R.R. R. Tolkien, author of The Lord of the Rings, Books and The Hobbit. Independent schools in the city include the Birmingham Blue Coat School, King Edward VI High School for Girls and Edgbaston High School for Girls. Bishop Vesey's Grammar School was founded by Bishop Vesey in 1527. Topic. Public services In Birmingham libraries, leisure centers, parks, play areas, transport, street cleaning and waste collection face cuts among other services. Albert Bohr, leader of Birmingham City Council called on the government to change radically how local services are funded and provided. It is claimed government cuts to local authorities have hit Birmingham disproportionately. Child protection services within Birmingham were rated inadequate by Ofsted for four years running between 2009 and 2013, with 20 child deaths since 2007 being investigated. In March 2014 the government announced that independent commissioner would be appointed to oversee improvements to children's services within the city. Topic. Library services The former Birmingham Central Library, opened in 1972, was considered to be the largest municipal library in Europe. Six of its collections were designated by the Arts Council England as being preeminent collections of national and international importance. Out of only eight collections to be so recognised in local authority libraries nationwide. A new library of Birmingham in Centenary Square, replacing Central Library, was opened on 3 September 2013. It was designed by the Dutch architects Mekanu and has been described as a kind of public forum. A memorial, a shrine, to the book and to literature. This library faces cuts, due to reduced funding from central government. There are 41 local libraries in Birmingham, plus a regular mobile library service. The library service has 4 million visitors annually. Due to budget cuts, four of the branch libraries risk closure whilst services may be reduced elsewhere. Topic. Emergency services Law enforcement in Birmingham is carried out by West Midlands Police, whose headquarters are at Lloyd House in Birmingham City Centre. With 87.92 recorded offences per 1,000 population in 2009-10, Birmingham's crime rate is above the average for England and Wales, but lower than any of England's other major core cities and lower than many smaller cities such as Oxford, Cambridge or Brighton. Fire and rescue services in Birmingham are provided by West Midlands Fire Service and Emergency Medical Care by West Midlands Ambulance Service. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Healthcare There are several major national health service hospitals in Birmingham. 
The Queen Elizabeth Hospital, adjacent to the Birmingham Medical School in Edgbaston, houses the largest critical care unit in Europe, and is also the home of the Royal Centre for Defence Medicine, treating military personnel injured in conflict zones. Other general hospitals in the city include Heartlands Hospital, Good Hope Hospital in Sutton Coldfield and City Hospital in Winson Green. There are also many specialist hospitals, such as Birmingham Children's Hospital, Birmingham Women's Hospital, Birmingham Dental Hospital, and the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital. Birmingham saw the first ever use of radiography in an operation, and the UK's first ever hole in the heart operation was performed at Birmingham Children's Hospital. <laughs> Water supply The Birmingham Corporation Water Department was set up in 1876 to supply water to Birmingham, up until 1974 when its responsibilities were transferred to Seven Trent Water. Most of Birmingham's water is supplied by the Elan Aqueduct. Opened in 1904, water is fed by gravity to Frankly Reservoir, Frankly, and Bartley Reservoir, Bartley Green, from reservoirs in the Elan Valley, Wales. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy from waste. Within Birmingham the Tisley Energy from Waste Plant, a large incineration plant built in 1996 for Veolia, burns some 366,414 tonnes of household waste annually and produces 166,230 megawatt-hours of electricity for the national grid along with 282,013 tons of carbon dioxide. Birmingham Friends of the Earth have strongly opposed the facility for contributing to climate change, causing air pollution and reducing recycling rates in the city. Another energy from waste centre using pyrolysis technology has been granted planning permission at Washwood Heath. Topic sport Birmingham has played an important part in the history of modern sport. The Football League, the world's first league football competition, was founded by Birmingham resident and Aston Villa director William McGregor, who wrote to fellow club directors in 1888 proposing that 10 or 12 of the most prominent clubs in England combined to arrange home and away fixtures each season. The modern game of tennis was developed between 1859 and 1865 by Harry Jem and his friend Augurio Pereira at Pereira's house in Edgbaston, with the Edgbaston Archery and Lawn Tennis Society remaining the oldest tennis club in the world. The Birmingham and District Cricket League is the oldest cricket league in the world, and Birmingham was the host for the first ever Cricket World Cup, a Women's Cricket World Cup in 1973. Birmingham was the first city to be named National City of Sport by the Sports Council. Birmingham was selected ahead of London and Manchester to bid for the 1992 Summer Olympics, but was unsuccessful in the final selection process, which was won by Barcelona. Today, the city is home of two of the country's oldest professional football teams, Aston Villa FC, which was founded in 1874 and plays at Villa Park, and Birmingham City FC, which was founded in 1875 and plays at St Andrews. Rivalry between the clubs is fierce and the fixture between the two is called the Second City Derby. 
Aston Villa are seven-time First Division champions and the 1982 European champions, but currently play in the championship following their relegation from the Premier League in the 2015–16 season. Birmingham City also currently play in the championship. Seven times county championship winners Warwickshire County Cricket Club play at Edgebaston Cricket Ground, which also hosts Test Cricket and One Day Internationals and is the largest cricket ground in the United Kingdom after Lords. Edgebaston was the scene of the highest ever score by a batsman in first-class cricket, when Brian Lara scored 501 not out for Warwickshire in 1994. Birmingham has a professional rugby union club, Mosley RFC, who play at Billersley Common, with a second professional club, Birmingham and Solihull RFC, playing at Damson Park in the neighbouring borough of Solihull. The city also has a rugby league club, the Birmingham Bulldogs, who compete in the cooperative RLC Midlands Premier League RLC. The city is also home to one of the oldest American football teams in the BAFA National Leagues, the Birmingham Bulls. Two major championship golf courses lie on the city's outskirts. The Belfry near Sutton Coldfield is the headquarters of the Professional Golfers Association and has hosted the Ryder Cup more times than any other venue. The Forest of Arden Hotel and Country Club near Birmingham Airport is also a regular host of tournaments on the PGA European Tour, including the British Masters and the English Open. The Aegon Classic is, alongside Wimbledon and Eastbourne, one of only three UK tennis tournaments on the WTA Tour. It is played annually at the Edgebaston Priory Club, which in 2010 announced plans for a multi-million pound redevelopment, including a new showcase centre court and a museum celebrating the game's Birmingham origins. The Alexander Stadium in Perry Bar is the headquarters of UK Athletics, and one of only two British venues to host fixtures in the elite international IAAF Diamond League. It is also the home of Birchfield Harriers, which has many international athletes among its members. The National Indoor Arena hosted the 2007 European Athletics Indoor Championships and 2003 IAAF World Indoor Championships, as well as hosting the annual Aviva Indoor Grand Prix, the only British indoor athletics fixture to qualify as an IAAF indoor permit meeting, and a wide variety of other sporting events. The venue will host the World Indoor Athletics Championships for a second time, when they come to Birmingham in 2018. Professional boxing, hockey, skateboarding, stock car racing, greyhound racing and speedway also takes place within the city. Since 1994 Birmingham has hosted the All England Open Badminton Championships at Arena Birmingham. <laughs> Commonwealth Games Birmingham will host the 2022 Commonwealth Games, replacing Durban, which was forced to withdraw as host due to economic problems. The Games are expected to take place between 27 July and 7 August 2022. Birmingham has a wealth of existing sports venues, arenas and conference halls that are ideal for hosting sport during the Games. Alexander Stadium, which will host the ceremonies and athletics, will be renovated and the capacity will be increased to 50,000 seats. 
The 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham are expected to generate a £526 million boost to the West Midlands regional economy. The official handover to Birmingham took place at the Gold Coast 2018 Commonwealth Games closing ceremony on 15 April 2018. Topic Media Birmingham has several major local newspapers, the Daily Birmingham Mail and the Weekly Birmingham Post and Sunday Mercury, all owned by Reach plc. Forward is a free sheet produced by Birmingham City Council, which is distributed to homes in the city. Birmingham is also the hub for various national ethnic media, lifestyle magazines, digital news platforms, and the base for two regional metro editions East and West Midlands. Birmingham has two mainstream digital-only news publishers, I Am Birmingham and Birmingham Updates, Birmingham has a long cinematic history. The Electric on Station Street is the oldest working cinema in the UK, and Oscar Deutsch opened his first Odeon Cinema in Briarley Hill during the 1920s. Birmingham is the location for several British and international film productions, including Felicia's Journey of 1999, which used locations in Birmingham that were used in Take Me High of 1973 to contrast the changes in the city. The BBC has two facilities in the city. The mailbox, in the city centre, is the national headquarters of BBC English Regions and the headquarters of BBC West Midlands and the BBC Birmingham Network Production Centre. These were previously located at the Pebble Mill Studios in Edgbaston. The BBC Drama Village, based in Selly Oak, is a production facility specialising in television drama. Central, ATV Studios in Birmingham was the location for the recording of various programmes for ITV, including Tiswas and Crossroads, until the complex was closed in 1997, and Central moved to its current Gas Street Studios. Central's output from Birmingham now consists of only the West and East editions of the regional news programme Central Tonight. The city is served by numerous national and regional radio stations, as well as hyperlocal radio stations. These include Free Radio Birmingham and Free Radio 80s, Capital Birmingham, Heart West Midlands, Absolute Radio, Smooth Radio. The city has a community radio scene, with stations including Big City Radio, New Style Radio, Switch Radio, Scratch Radio, Raj FM, and Unity FM. The Archers, the world's longest-running radio soap, is recorded in Birmingham for BBC Radio 4. BBC Birmingham Studios additionally produce shows for BBC Radio WM and BBC Asian Network in the city. Topic: Notable people. Topic Sister Cities Birmingham has nine sister cities. Topic See also List of cities in the United Kingdom, Second City of the United Kingdom. List of countries by national capital, largest and second largest cities <laughs> Notes <laughs>